Okay, we all good to get into this piece of shit. <laughs> Rude. How dare you? Rude. He sat right here with us. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. And I'm Helena. And this week we have a very special guest joining us from Mixtaping Identity. It's Shane McMenemy. Hello. I'm hoping I said your name right. <laughs> Yeah, you did. <laughs> Just the yeah, brief panic before I had to say, hang on, shit. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it written down. <laughs> oh, um, man. Do you know, like, that's my favourite thing is, like, I think my name is okay, but, like, telemarketers who haven't been paying attention, it happens <laughs> to me so often where they'll call them, like, can I speak to Mr. Mc... And you can hear in their voice. It's just like, <laughs> shit. Um, I almost don't even want to ask, but what movie did you bring for us this week? <laughs> <laughs> I brought my my favorite movie of all time, uh, Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. I can never remember what our intro music no. is. Dirdum, dirdum, dirdum. No, no, wrong one. <laughs> wrong shark movie. Uh... Surprised that I've seen Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus now, but still haven't seen Jaws. Um, <laughs> so normally why? we ask the question: no, of, why? Know, what's, <laughs> what's your relationship with this movie? Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. why is the? Uh... <laughs> so you said this was your favorite. Were you were you being genuine when you said it was your favorite movie of all time? Yeah, it, 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 at a time it at was time. my favorite movie at, at a particular moment in time. Yeah. Um, I was really into this movie when I was a teenager, and I don't I don't know if it, I've, I don't know if it would help or hurt to hear what the other options could have been, um, but I uh, will judge you regardless. So. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, I know you, you guys have covered Aristocats already, but that would have been oh, that could have like... been one for me. Uh, Oliver and Company. Um, yeah, we were disappointed uh, on that one actually. <laughs> Not as oh, yeah? sad as yeah. I thought it'd be. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I've, I haven't watched that in a long time. Okay. Um, Watch Aristocats, it's better. Um, Anchorman Ooh, probably okay. would have been, but I thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I messaged Dad about that, and um, he said that you might outright refuse my if, <laughs> if I suggested Anchorman. It is on the um, he's on the list of like ba- not banned, but just refu- you, ref- refuse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, we get one the vetoed much- actor thing. It, yeah, we get one oh, okay. veto. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's um. It, it's a much funnier movie in my head than it is <laughs> when you actually rewatch scenes or any moments from it. But anyway, I, I went with Mega Shark uh, because I was obsessed with this movie when I was a teenager. Um, it was around about the time, you know, when like Rebecca Black's Friday came out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there was this like, I was obsessed with these things that were just like so bad that they're good. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, was there a sort of ironic element to you enjoying oh, this film? big time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's, there's there's no part of me that sat down and thought, this is a good movie. <laughs> You're not a snub. No. It's You're like, I can't believe this got snubbed at the Academy Awards. <laughs> it's definitely that quirky kind of, I'm watching this because it's bad kind of vibe, I'm, I'm guessing. Exactly. We watched, yeah. exactly. we had a similar thing, I think, with, we all sat down and watched yeah. Sharknado. Yeah, we had a right, Sharknado sure. movie night for the first three Sharknado movies. We also release, watched so. The Room <laughs> right, okay. often. Like, yeah. we watched The Room regularly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. Yeah. So, The the, the Room, I think, that you know, I think Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus walked to The Room Good yeah. Run. Um, <laughs> it was the one in my, that was in my life first. So, yeah, it, it started off with, like, Rebecca Black's Friday. And then I actually, I realized that the uh, the studio that she used was basically, like, it's just a, a a place where rich young girls could go and they would have a song it's, written for It's like for a them vanity and, yeah. studio. Yeah, exactly. Um, so Friday went viral, obviously, but there's so many more of those songs and they are awful. So I got I got really into those, just like just watching those, picking those apart, and then there's another there's another, is there Lisa Ann or Lisa Lisa Gale, I think her name is. And she uh, she has these like amazing songs about like how if you're her husband you can look at other women but only for three seconds, um, <laughs> and a song called Coffee or Tea where the chorus goes Coffee or Tea or Be with Me, which <laughs> makes no sense but 
it's just it's it's just so much fun. Yeah, so yeah, Mega Shark that in Starbucks. They'd be like, yeah, she got fired yeah. as a waitress really yeah, quickly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Co- uh, <laughs> coffee, Lisa. <that's, laughs> yeah, please. She's like, damn, I'll get the um, next one. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, this this just came about at the right time for me, where I was just like, I was obsessed with like this kind of stuff. It's just like so bad, it's good. Just uh, yeah, very ironic, laughing at how bad it is. Um, but I think every scene in this has something that is just like jaw-droppingly awful about it um <laughs> just stunning so yeah i just got i got obsessed with it i actually downloaded it i think it was this must have been like pirate bay era when i downloaded this mm. and uh i got a version of the download that had the dvd extras as well oh nice so i've also oh, nice. watched like the the behind the scenes <laughs> um which uh if I can you want to know how the here. sausage is made? Yeah, well, is the behind are... the scenes just moving the camera to another angle of the same room? <laughs> uh, honestly, I swear to God. Like, there, so there are, there are some amazing moments in it that, that, that stand out to me. There's there's one where, you know, the big the, the shot of the whale on the beach? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that's very obviously just like a model near the camera, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. But, <laughs> yeah. But, they, but they show that in the behind the scenes. They're like, here's how we did this shot. Isn't that clever? Um, but they're worse than that. There's a shot. There's a, a scene where they've um, they, they're interviewing the director about the the movie, and he's talking about you know, he's talking very earnestly about this like these this, these power dynamics and the struggles between these two big beasts. And then he's talking about these scenes in the submarine where you know they're struck by something, um, and there's some kind of movement. And he very earnestly explains that when people are like moving side to side in the boat. If you shake the camera a little bit, it looks more realistic. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I mean, it's he just said the way a little explain- bit, though. Not, but um... it's the way it's the way he explains it, though. It's like <laughs> it's like if you are someone who's actually interested in making movies, and this is something that you have to have explained to you. I don't think you're going to make it. But yeah, it's so there was that, and then the other thing that I loved from the behind the scenes. Oh, sorry, I'm not. No, go on. on. Yeah, no, that's the that's the point. Okay, you There's no plot to go podcast. through. Just it's fine. <laughs> no, that's fine. The, uh, yeah. there, there is a plot, but it is uh, one sentence, and it is the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> but the um, the other thing I love about the behind the scenes is um, uh, the Irish actor who plays the professor. Mm. I think his name's L- Lamar. Um, yeah, which he... just made me think of Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. He um he has a bit where he's talking about his character and like again talking very earnestly. But he talks about how um he was really drawn to the character and the writing of it, especially um because his character dies in the film and uh, you know, that that whole arc of the character really, you know, connected with him. Um right. He doesn't die in the film. He doesn't yeah, die no, in the film. I was, I was about to say, like... Uh... <laughs> he doesn't, doesn't come close to I, dying in the film. Sometimes I don't pay great attention. <laughs> he's yeah, but he end def- as well. Yeah, he doesn't die. He, he's there at the end of the film, so it's not like they yeah. cut his death out. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I have no I, I don't know where he was going to die. I don't know if, Clearly like, a choice was submarine... made between that was filmed, the, the, yeah. the yeah, email yeah. was filmed, and the actual Clearly, film was finished. He died. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He died during the script, and then they went, "Ah, let's not." Yeah. Now yeah. we need to keep. He's just, he's just really popping on camera. <laughs> he's got. Yeah. He, did his, he did his best sort of Shakespearean dramatic <laughs> exit deaths, and they're just like, "Nah." Yeah. They did tease the sequel at the end. Yeah, and I'm There's sure there are other Mega Shark. No, there are four. <laughs> there are there are lots, and I think I think this right. with the same so, cast. There's uh, like one sci- of them has the same cast. You know the the um, studio Sci Fi. Yeah, no, the TV, TV channel. Yeah, the TV so channel. T- yeah, the asylum. The, the com- so, the yeah, asylum, I know. Yeah, yeah I know I, way too much about these films because yeah. <laughs> I've definitely not seen. I love. I've not asylum. seen this one before. Um, okay. Or, or possibly I have, uh, yeah. but I only remembered really Reasonable. the big shark and not the big octopus. I mean, that might be um, any other big shark. And then movie, there, there are, yeah, there's, like, but there's. I, I think films. I have definitely seen Mega Shark versus Mecha Shark. Which is one of the sequels. Yes. So I think that's oh, good. second, which has the same leading lady as this one. Yeah. Oh, Debbie Gibson's and, in that. And then, uh, and then the one after that, I believe, is Mega Shark versus 
Cro- Colossus? Yeah, Mega Shark versus Colossus. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it goes Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus, then it's Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus, then it's Mega Shark versus um, Mega Shark. <laughs> <laughs> I really it's hope that Mega Shark versus Colossus. I hope the plot of all of the movies is exactly the same, but they just changed the CGI model of the bad guy. <laughs> I believe that the story is pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, <laughs> it's about right. them getting to fight. I mean, uh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty. I'm also. Is it I'm, to see a Mega Shark? I, I'm yeah, not. That's sure. the only returning actor. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> they have. Like, they have the character just... models. <laughs> I hope it's them. Yeah, so in in, in Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus, mm. it's the same Megalodon that oh, ended up surviving yeah. suffocation from the octopus in the first film. I he lives. really hope all of the films is them trying to get rid of that Mega Shark. <laughs> I really hope that well, the Mega <laughs> Shark is definitely right. That's um, that has to be. Yeah, but then Colossus is like a giant robot. I don't know where Colossus <laughs> comes from in all of this. Yeah, um, my history with I this love movie. Peter is much briefer. Um, I've seen the DVD case in CEX a few times. That's yeah, about true. it. Yeah. <laughs> I've maybe uh, seen the um, the clip which is on YouTube titled The Best Movie Scene in History, which, of uh, course, is where he takes the down plane. the plane. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was fantastic. The fuck it, that made me laugh so much. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it is perfect. It is perfect. Because they've obviously written it to try and uh, establish some kind of, like, uh, rapport He's... with the character, yeah, mm. right, some kind of connection there, but it it's just so clumsily written and so <laughs> badly delivered, where he just stands up and then it's like he has he's just remembered that he has to say I'm getting married in two days, yeah, and she's like, <laughs> okay, and what mate, just yeah, yeah you'll yeah, be fine, fu- sit yeah. down. <laughs> Holy shit, oh, it's <laughs> it's oh, great, love it. the idea that you'd be able to look out and see that coming towards you and react. <laughs> At thirty three thousand feet, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's beautiful. I, it, yeah. it feels like this this film. I love the asylum as a as a company. I like that they continuously get sued for making Lord of the Rings rip offs. I love it. Um, <laughs> sort of thing. I love their TV show. I love their TV show. Does their one TV show called Does Z-Nation. Mega Shark Go to Mordor? <laughs> no, no, Mega they... Shark versus Sauron. <laughs> It's called like Battle of. So I think it was originally called The Adventure of Hobbits, and then they got sued for that. Wow. So oh, that's not even to, trying. Wow. So they changed it to The Battle of the Elves. <laughs> and wow. then technically, Tolkien's estate doesn't own elves. Yeah. Right. So they, they're they allowed to keep that as like a sub name, but I think it's called like A Glorious Battle or something. It's fucking wild. Oh, great. Great. They're like, how vague then- do we have to go? To get yeah. you to leave us alone, and it's it's just Lord fight. of the Rings. It's just Lord of cheap Lord of the one. Rings. <laughs> I love it. I love it so. I love that they see a film being. They get a wind of a film being made, and they're like, "Okay, we'll also make that." Yeah, and and release it at the same time. They're they're really yeah. aiming for the confused grandma in HMV audience. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from from what I can work out, that wasn't the plan to start with. No. They made. So they their first film was I think War of the Worlds, which came out the same year that I think Spielberg's War of the Worlds did. Yeah. yeah. Except they didn't know he was <laughs> also making the film. Oh, you'd be <laughs> they, so upset. They <laughs> yeah. just, like, re- no, they what they noticed is because it had the exact same name, other people were accidentally buying yeah. their <laughs> War of the Worlds. Much better. Oh, that's so they great. were like, Well, let's do that from now on. Let's like uh, try and trick people. And it's a, it's Imagine a very similar looking alien. Obviously, they, yeah. they've gone for the sort of similar description as the, but so did. Um, I mean, th- so they're, they're sort of the tripod wasn't, thing. It wasn't based off of the Spielberg film. It was based off of the G- H. G. Wells story. Yeah, yeah. They didn't. Book, they yeah. weren't even aware that the other film was being made. <laughs> they didn't have their own version of Tom Cruise. Yeah, with like Tim Drift <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they know these people were accidentally buying their films, so they were like, "Well, why don't we just market around this and start copying movies?" Ah, oh, great. Uh, but I love, That's I true. love how much they just don't care. 
Yeah. yeah, there's there's right. so many scenes in this where the main thing I noticed was, oh, this is just the exact same shot again. I guess yeah. that's yeah. a good way to save money on CGI is just yeah, show yeah. the oh, same I, thing. I, I loved the or actually decent it. quality, definitely stock footage. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I like it when the stock footage cuts to a footage of the animated animal, yeah. uh, and then it cuts back to the same stock footage without the animal there. Yeah, yeah the, the, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's so it's brilliant. Much. It, there's, a, there's a shot of him like chomping on the bridge, and then they cut back to the bridge, just shaking, <laughs> but he's not there. And then cut back to the. Sh- I mean, like, yeah. You you think that would be a crucial thing to get in your shot if you yeah. were trying to get the shark eating the bridge? <laughs> yeah, but they're just was... like, no, I'll just. I don't say it was wanted, the but it then was... the budget was like, no, you can't could... eat the Golden Gate Bridge. It's they such an anticlimactic part of the movie that bit as well because he just chomps <laughs> not... at, uh, just a square out of it, and it's just gone. Yeah. <laughs> I, and then they I just like... go, oh, <laughs> never talk about move it again. On. Yeah, I don't worry about the plane or the um the like drilling platform that was taken down or do you reckon they in, in the golden gate bridge scene they had like a couple of minute scene of a guy in a car going i'm married in two days <laughs> do you reckon they had like his wife yeah and, like, just just getting woman. married in two days <laughs> and she looks out the window and goes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that would have made it so much better though that would have made it yeah. so good <laughs> oh, i have to go home right isn't... this wedding was cancelled because the plane <laughs> fell out of the sky <laughs> I can't find uh, the budget for this film anywhere. It's got to be yeah, somewhere. They, yeah, three been that three point fifty. Yeah, I was mm. gonna say. Nor did they. <laughs> to to be fair, their sets are actually quite good for a low budget mm. film. Like the sets aren't that bad. Well, it was all just. Was it was mostly dingy. Surprised by the rest, like of it. dingy submarines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For like, cheap, I I cheap I film. really like the um and outside, uh, which I assume is free. Yeah. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> I really like the mini sub. Uh, mm, yeah. Because there's loads of buttons that you yeah. push in, but none of them are labeled or no. like, different colors. It's just like a big gray stack of like clearly not buttons, just like raised yeah. bits that she's yeah. just like boop, 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 boop. boop. <laughs> it looks like someone yeah. has one of those, you know, those like electronic music like touch pad, a things. launch pad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They just got a broken one of them. And an old phone. <laughs> right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk about the beginning of this. We should probably at least talk about the beginning of this film. <laughs> yeah, we so get, we could not pull Tara random Reed scenes and over. not... <laughs> I th- yeah, um... I thought it was Tara Reed for the for, I thought it was Tara <laughs> Reed, and then I thought it was the woman from... Oh, what's that? Sun- Always Sunny? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that? I spent most of the film going, that's not Tara Reed. She's not in Always Sunny, is she? <laughs> <laughs> is that Dee Reynolds? Is no. D from Always Sunny? No, it's also not D from Always Sunny. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, K- Caitlin something. Caitlin Olsen. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's, okay. it's was, Deborah, Debbie Gibson. Sunny, literally Debbie just Gibson. Literally, before we start recording. So. Oh, nice. Uh, but yeah, it's essentially her and her friend in a boat in a sub an hmm. experimental submarine that she stole to yeah. observe yeah. some uh, CGI whales. No, they're not mm-hmm. CGI. Uh, they're stock footage whales. Uh, that's true. I oh, yeah. the same they clip stole... of the stock footage whales. Repeated. Yeah, we see. We see. They they had to pay for that because they used it a lot. Yeah. You, this does introduce the thing that is throughout the film, which is where it cuts to any animal. You completely lose sense of everything else that's happening in the film. Yeah, there is no like cohesion between when yeah. they film an animal and when they cut back to the people. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, uh, but they get caught. They get there's like someone doing something illegal. Yeah, uh, which they never talk about again. Well, no. it's um, it's a sort of low frequency sonar. It's an yeah. thing yeah. that yeah. I guess is used LFAS. to detect. Yeah. And it, it makes the whales uh, kamikaze upset. into a ice sheet, and then you get a terrible CGI bit of ice falling away, and yeah. then apparently mm-hmm. you see a shark and an octopus. Yeah, I tried really hard <laughs> to see both of those at various times in that clip, no, and I saw them. Yeah. They were definitely there towards yeah. the end. I could, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a, a it's like a sonogram. That bit. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah, it's a boy. Yeah. They're, yeah, he's got your eyes. They're pretty clear <laughs> at the end of the film, at the end of that scene. They're pretty yeah. clear as they fly, as they swim. Oh yeah, away. yeah. And it's fine because yeah. they then replay it later as well, which is obviously very helpful. Yeah, yeah it's mm. helpful. Yeah, um, 
they, in case I, you forget the she, premise of the film. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she gets taken out of the water. Hmm. And then she sat in a car talking and she says, probably my favourite line in the film, where she just goes... I think I saw something down there. Like, it didn't just show two giant creatures <laughs> yeah. swimming away. She's like, I think I saw something. Yeah. The, the, there's a mo- another moment very similar where, um, this is later in the movie, but when they're interviewing the guy who's uh, survived the oil rig disaster. Yeah. And, like, clearly he's been there while there's been, like, a massive octopus destroying an oil rig. <laughs> yeah. And he sits down with a pen and a piece of paper and goes, show me. And ask him to draw a massive fucking octopus. He just draws a big octopus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he draws what is clearly like a, a, a detailed drawing of an octopus by yeah, someone who knows what an octopus looks like and has seen an octopus. I think and most, like, you know, four me. to five year olds uh, that have been on I, one trip to an aquarium yeah. Yeah. tend to also, know I'll, what an octopus looks like. I'll save you like. some time, mate. Uh, it was a massive octopus. <laughs> the tentacles were huge. It destroyed an oil rig. Do, do you need me to draw it? Uh, it's not my. It's not my forte. Yeah, and, and then they're they, like they hone in on they're like, oh, it's it's eye. Look at the eye that he drew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that they put that those pictures down in front of the marine biologist. The marine biologists are like, what could it be? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What could they, what if that could was smaller, I'd be? say it was an octopus. Yeah. What's well, the moment where they say like, they, what is that? Some kind of giant squid? Yeah. <laughs> both in unison turn around and go octopus. octopus. Yeah. They Beautiful. also like they hide. They find luckily the one survivor of the oil rig is an artist because they're pretty good <laughs> drawings of an exactly. octopus. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, can you imagine yeah. like a sort of traumatized like oil rig worker is just given it a was... biro and a piece of paper and it's like draw well, what you was draw, draw what murdered all your colleagues. <laughs> yeah, I draw a circle and then eight lines off it. And like, it was like it's an octopus. Be like, it's oh, just it's, it's a, a big... giant spider. <laughs> oh my god, it's a wet spider. <laughs> he was there for like oh my god. <laughs> it's the sun. No, I'm telling you, it's an octopus. If it was Stop the sun, it would be in the corner of the paper. Damn it. Stop <laughs> making decisions based on my drawing. Uh, it's a tw- twenty minute episode of Pictionary. <laughs> it's just, it's just a, it's just a circle with some li- with eight lines and a square, and he's like, "That's the octopus. That's the oil rig." <laughs> and they're like, "No talking, no talking." <laughs> You're not allowed to say what it is with your words. <laughs> You're burning. <laughs> And yet it would still look better than the CGI octopus in the movie. <laughs> no. I love the I grumpy know, octopus. Oh, the grumpy yeah. octopus is my favourite part. How is the shark better? Like, the shark looks like crap. The mega shark <laughs> looks like crap. Yeah. How does the octopus look? He's octopus different look sizes better? at different times. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to say, when favorite. are we going to cover the yeah monster of varying sizes? Uh, yeah. My favourite uh, horror monster movie trope is the ever-changing monster size. Mm. Yeah. It is the greatest trope in any monster movie ever. Yeah, it's as big as it some, needs to yeah, be for that. Because that shark <laughs> can, like, at one point, it's jumping up three, what, three, th- thirty-three hundred feet, 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 feet yeah. into the air to catch an actual plane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's um, about the size of the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like for next, no it's reason. chasing like another mini sub, like through cracks yeah. and complicated yeah. waters. There, there's not really any like. I know, I know. Obviously, it doesn't have to, but like, why is it jumping out of the uh, out of the water that high to get a plane? No, like, that... there's absolutely, there's no reason for that whatsoever. <laughs> there is that's what I was thinking. Like, my main thing about like before watching this, I was like, right, there's a big shark and a big octopus. They both live yeah. in the sea. If they just yeah. Yeah. like, if we just leave them to it, probably be all right. But no, because no, it's stopping ship. Car- I, it's not even like they were like, oh, it's taking planes out of the sky. It's not like that was something it was doing regularly. No. It seems like it just did mm. it that once. I think yeah. someone uh, just had access to like Blender or something on their computer, made a CGI shark attacking an aeroplane, and they were like, fuck. Like, oh, that's sick. That we got to like, can we? <laughs> yeah, can we put this in? Can we I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> that's sick. That yeah. that would not surprise me if that if that's the origin story of the movie is just someone be like, here isn't this cool? Like, it, yeah. Is that how sharks it. even hunt? Some yeah, great whites do like jump out of the water. Do they? Yeah, like, they horrifying. go from below it's and like terrifying. Shoot yeah. I love okay. how quickly you just accepted that. Like, oh, they jump out of the water. Ah, oh, cool. Then yeah, probably yeah. a megalodon would attack a plane. Then. Well, they like, would probably see that sense. that you know Boeing seven four seven or whatever it is thirty three thousand feet in the air and go. 
that looks a bit like a turtle, I guess. Not... <laughs> it was yeah. absolutely covered in ham. Yeah. It would <laughs> that shark would die on impact hitting the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that shark would explode it might also it die if it ate a plane and the speed that <laughs> yeah. it supposedly swims at its skin yes. would peel off <laughs> it had to get so much force to go that high yeah everything yeah it would have, uh, just hitting the water like concrete <laughs> but sure. luckily the the mega shark has dealt with it itself <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's like everyone's sort of happy, but also a bit like, well, we huh. mm, now okay. we've just got this big octopus to deal with. Yeah, uh, I say well. I like that they they named the species of giant shark, and they were like, it's a fucking octopus. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, <laughs> make a big, big octopus. Like they find the tooth and they go into this big analysis of like how big was the tooth, and he's like ten it ten inches, no feet. Oh my god, and all that big shit, and he's like. It's a undead. It's a de- dead prehistoric shark. It's not going to be attacking now. He's like, yeah, it will. Uh, and they go. That's like a full scene. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then they're like, there's a drawing of a big octopus. Yeah. No, sorry. There's a drawing of an octopus. I bet it's real big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a giant. Do you think it's quite a small and, drawing, but it implies no that it's a big octopus. Yes. And at no point during this does Debbie Gibson's character go. Hey, remember earlier when I said I thought I saw something in the water? Yeah. <laughs> what if <laughs> what if what I saw and what I wanted to draw attention to was a big old shark and a massive <laughs> octopus? And a massive that were frozen so can we just I just they were frozen solid mid fight. Yes. Yep. They were flash frozen <laughs> yeah. at some point. <laughs> Yeah, because as far they, as I'm aware, the Ice Age didn't just do that. It didn't just go. <laughs> everything's cold now. I mean, there has to be a date in time where it's like now it's the Ice Age, right? It's now yeah, but I, yeah. who I don't who weren't around like... when it happened, so it, maybe it did just like maybe yeah, it did maybe. just turn on one day. Just, I just don't gone. think it like yeah. flash froze the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Maybe and like then... at the, at, like they were they were ready for it, like three, two, one, <laughs> happy Ice <laughs> Age, and then just. Oh, maybe over. the maybe the air was significantly colder than the water, and the shark latches onto the octopus and shoots out into the air. Oh yeah, Th- ten thousand feet. They ten thousand feet, yeah. and yeah. they freeze on their way down. They, they, they just oh, freeze yeah. because they are basically going to space. Yeah. No, yeah. but that reentry, that reentry would <laughs> they would toast them up. up. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be crispy. Mm. They'd shatter. You just have <laughs> massive amounts of fossilized calamari. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, I I also like you know when you mentioned the the big tooth. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we don't science, see the science that they did. Oh, you do see the tooth. Yeah, you see the tooth. Don't you see, you see like a tiny bit of the tooth? Oh yeah. No, she, oh, she's they holding it forward. and it's like, and you're looking at it going, "Well, that's a tooth." That's and a then they tooth. pour some liquids into test tubes. Oh, the montages of the best. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> science montages <laughs> the... are so good. Doing it, science. That one, and then when. <laughs> because before they decide it's pheromones mm. that they need to they need to use, they're just doing science yeah. to try and work out a solution, <laughs> and yeah. but no explanation. And all the science is is pouring liquids into other liquids and then looking disappointed <laughs> when it doesn't yeah. make the color that they want to make it. Yeah, and then when they decide it's pheromones, they pour it in and it glows green, and they're like, <laughs> finally, <laughs> we did the science. <laughs> I've, I I've just been thing. scrolling through my notes and I don't know how I forgot this, but the guy who survives the um, and draws the octopus has the yeah. worst Australian accent I have ever heard in a movie. And it might be oh, yeah. a real Australian accent. Does he have... I did not pick up on there being an it's Australian so accent. Bad. It's the guy who draws I... the picture of the octopus. I know who you mean. Yeah. I just do yeah. not recall an he accent. He in this film for 10 seconds. <laughs> You expect us to remember that guy? <laughs> Barely remember the main characters. The shark. Of three of them. <laughs> yeah, the mega shark and the giant octopus. There's mega shark, and... giant octopus, a blonde lady, Irish man, and Asian guy. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's we... the cast, right? We and then a racist to be man. fair. Yeah. I think oh, yeah, the racist man. And the racist man. <laughs> and a uh, genuinely quite good actor playing the head, of, the captain of the submarine. Like a, yeah. a few of the actors on the submarine are actually quite good. They're not bad. Yeah. And yeah. then they just play these insane roles. To be I, fair, I did... 
I did like the gritty yeah. realism of the the uh, towards the end where the uh, submarine guy is like, "No, fuck this! I'm not yeah. going on this stupid suicide <laughs> mission." Oh, I love that scene because he's reacting to having to drive into like a really dangerous territory while being chased by a shark. Yeah, so his solution <laughs> is to get up from the steering mechanism. <laughs> So yeah. there's no driver yes. and point his gun at the captain and shout, you're insane, while <laughs> yes, the submarine right. continues to drive what? Uh, unmanned. I can't imagine firing a gun in a submarine is a good idea. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he's like, he's like, no, I'm not going to do this. We're going to crash. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> he's like, like, lift my hands away anyway. and shoot a gun. Yeah. That'll save us. Well, well doesn't he just want to like go to the there. surface, go to the surface and stop being on a submarine? Yeah. Well, if they go high enough, the shark can't get. Oh no! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere is safe. I've established that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so, it's so, it's so. And that Jane, that stare down, actually quite intense for a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah, I was gripped. I, I didn't have like a bad experience watching this film. I I kind of enjoyed film. it. It was. It it is definitely yeah. awful in the best way. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not got the because I feel with Shark Sharknado and maybe not so much the first one, but it's definitely the ones after. It was too. It was trying too hard to be so bad. It's good. Whereas yeah, this one, it feels like they really tow the line of like at least some of the people think it's decent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people are trying. Yeah, and that's which is much fun. better. So much uh, better. The. Uh, Irish professor has some like amazing lines in it as well. Like his like his script is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He knew uh, what especially the bit where he dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, two of my fa- two of my favorites that I noted uh, is uh, at one point he turns when they're walking on the pier and says fish and chip. Yep, love that. <laughs> love that. That's that's not how anyone <laughs> talks. Fish and chip, great. Um, and... I remember watching that and I was thinking that I misheard him. Yeah, no, I, like that's. I remember that one very specifically from my teenage years. It's one of my favorite things ever. Is just him like with a bag, fish and chip. Yeah. Great. <laughs> like, what are you offering me here? Like an entire piece of cod and a singular chip. That's yes. mental. Um, I, and the other I one won't... when uh, she mentions the feds and he goes ah the feds they'll hound you till you're bleeding from every orifice <laughs> what what yeah. do you mean what do you mean yes what do you mean <laughs> well, they'll hound you till you're bleeding from every orifice <laughs> what could that possibly mean is that not an Irishism is that like no it's say? not an Irish thing <laughs> So you're I... bleeding from every orifice. What? Because they're trying to like, ar- like trying to get you to do your taxes. What do you mean? He, he was being hunted by the FBI because he crashed a nuclear submarine. Yeah, because yeah. I he mean, didn't want to drive it. Good. <laughs> you maybe you should be arrested. And you yeah. can't. You, you're not allowed to drive nuclear subs wherever you want just because you love fish. He didn't kill some d- dolphins. Aren't fish. Let's be honest. <laughs> he saved dolphins. Dolphins aren't fish. That's what, that's why they got him. He would have been okay birds. if they were fish that he was going to see. <laughs> Speaking of dead dolphin, um, the the yeah. scene where, um, <laughs> uh, just before the uh, the sex scene, when they're get they're, like they've only that's really just met and wild. spent a bit of time doing science together, and then they start talking about the ocean. Oh, and this scene was bad. He yeah. talks about so much death in the ocean and how he saw a dolphin caught up in their nets literally within five seconds of that of him saying that she's suggesting that they go and fuck somewhere yeah they just go and have a quickie yeah they bond over their shared like love slush respect for the ocean but it's so forced and it's so clear that like Oh, okay. Like this is the love yeah. interest. We, we, yeah. We've got to have the love interest scene. and We, we need them to realise it's pheromones somehow. That's, How about a really exactly. badly forced sex scene? The characters have no... The characters have less chemistry than the science they're doing in this fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's like... How they get there as well is so painful because he's like, I like the smell. I like your smell. Yeah. 
just just you, normal just normal pillow talk when you s- just had sex in a closet that's when, how when you're when you're trying to solve a disaster yeah. like a well, worldwide disaster the the ah, scene, smell the scene immediately after though i found even weirder because they go they then do a science where they put things in and it turns green and then yeah. As both know, characters kiss life. her on the cheek at like the yeah. same oh, yeah. time, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "Hang on, did I miss <laughs> part of the sex scene?" He's got yeah. like dad vibes. He yeah. does it because well, he's yeah. got like the Irish guy does it because he's got like dad vibes. Yeah, yeah, he's very proud of because she's his old his ex student. Mm. Yeah, but but there is a, there is a scene shortly after that when um the the two of them are kissing, and then like when they part, he's just standing there like <laughs> staring at them. <laughs> well and i don't think it's been clear up to that point that they were romantically involved but like that's the first time he's realized but he's just like looking at them it's yep. very odd it's so strange he probably yeah. heard them before they were as far as i can tell from this movie just one slight rotation of the camera away from where he was <laughs> yeah can we, can we talk about so they they essentially are tasked with catching and getting rid of these uh, two monsters by the military, mm-hmm. U.S. Yeah. military, because the most racist guy, the most casually racist guy in charge, wants them. What yeah. is telling them that they need to do it? Really. Well, these these the megalodon and the octopus are sort of um, eat like eating a lot of things and causing quite a lot of disruption. Yeah, well, one of them has taken the U.S. and one of them has taken Japan. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and unsurprisingly, the octopus is the one they put in Japan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, makes the most sense. Uh, yeah, mm. um, and yeah, he's this guy's just the most casually racist commander, and he's just yeah. like throwing out slurs. <laughs> and every time he does it, they're all like, "Ooh." They, Ooh they, yeah. I, I There's also like... a bit of casual racism, as as well as the direct racism. Um, oh yeah, but there's also some ca- where it's just like, "Oh, you know what Japan's like? You know, they just." They just kill you, like yeah. the CIA. Do not do that. <laughs> yeah, the CIA is famously yeah. not known for. They, I feel like it, it, it's in there just so they can have that terrible line because he turns around. He's like, "I'm an equal opportunity racist. I don't." Uh, and then later yeah. on, they're just like, "Yeah, Megalodons don't discriminate either." And I'm like, "Yeah, oh yeah, fucking oh, hell, yeah. Yeah. he's such a <laughs> bad clunky." We line. did it. It's just not a good <laughs> enough reason to have racism in your movie. No, <laughs> like, not, that line is not funny enough. The line is so much better than that because it's uh, he's he's an equal opportunist uh, killing machine, yeah. which is yeah. a lot clunkier <laughs> and yeah. more wordy than their like dig. But he's like that commander, whatever he is. Is the most angry person, and he's just so like, like every other sentence is, has a casual slur in it, yeah. and yeah, they all wince every time. Yeah, so, this guy's a bad guy. Just so you know, mm. yeah. <laughs> none of the characters are happy about this guy being here. Yeah, because yeah. he wants to kill the shark and the octopus, and they want to study them because they are ancient cool creatures that yeah. can <laughs> fire 33,000 feet into the air. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do, but they seem to give up on that very quickly. Instantly. Yeah. As soon as, yeah. as, soon it's as like, they're hang on, we might fucking we're, die. We're going to contain them, and then it doesn't work, and it just so happens that the exact same thing happened in Tokyo as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. they just, they get on the phone like, any luck with you? No. Mm. Great. We're all on the same page then in terms of our, our plot points here. Cool. What are um, we going to do now? Make them fight. Oh, okay. Well, exactly. Yeah. The next thing is like, oh, okay, well, that didn't work. So now there's, we definitely have to find a way yeah. to kill them both. Our pheromone plan is scuppered. We've tried shooting <laughs> it with a boat two them. times and that didn't work. <laughs> And I wasn't then, really clear on what the plan if, if, for containment was. No, was like, we'll get one. them into San Francisco Bay. Yeah, we'll corner them and then, and then capture them. And then what? Yep. Tickle them until we just <laughs> and just then roll ask them. him nicely. We'll just capture we'll just close the the bottom of the Golden Gate Bridge. You know, it's not that far. There's no <laughs> way this shark could possibly jump over a bridge <laughs> that is anyway. technically large. But did you hear about that missing plane? <laughs> <laughs> I also I like the the thought that they were recording all of these attacks from the mega shark, the megalodon, and they were like it was happening in both Japan and the US at practically the same time, and none of them went. Hold on. Yeah. 
Maybe How's it's two that? things. <laughs> Maybe it's two things. Yeah. But who would expect a giant octopus? <laughs> An angry looking giant. Because we barely see the giant octopus. We see its tentacles like twice. One where it swats a plane out of the sky because the <laughs> yes. guy's like, go down further. Yeah. And try and see. What? I've just realized. Where? What is going on? Where where are these two animals? Because at one point they're in a submarine looking for them. Yeah. And we know that the the giant octopus is in Japan. It's yeah. always been in Japan. And they're like talking to an American in a jet fighter. And they're like, go deeper, go further down to try and get sonar. Yeah. And the giant octopus attacks them. Yeah. They're not in Jap- anywhere near Japan as far as I can tell. They're sort know. of going back to the Arctic. So is it the Arctic or the Antarctic? Sorry? This was before that. Yeah. <laughs> This was before they trapped them. This is before that... the pheromone. Are they in the spe- in the Pacific Ocean? Maybe, I, but, they... but that that is all. That is one of my favorite uh, scenes in the movie. Is the the, the octopus swatting the <laughs> <Yeah>. plane because <laughs> the dialogue is so funny. Because <laughs> it is. He says, "I'm going down." This is <laughs> yeah. before the the tentacle arrives. Yeah. Then there's a swipe. Then there's an explosion, and yes. then the pilot goes, "No!" <laughs> yeah, you just see the pilot perfectly yeah. fine again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but he's going no after his plane has exploded. It's yeah. just, I loved it's it. so nicely put together. It just yeah. works so well. It's, it's it was so the good. Golden Great Great Bridge getting bit again. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what it was. But it's it's the same as well. The very first scene that you were talking about earlier, Mike, the um the with the ice shelf and the CGI yeah. thing. The pilot just like his face turns inside out as he's clearly like leaning into something, and he goes holy <laughs> crap! And then his his uh, helicopter explodes. But again, it's just like like what you what need someone to sit you down and explain what has actually happened in that scene because <laughs> yeah. it's not clear from his reaction yeah. or the, every, the actual things that you can see. Every action scene in this film is incomprehensible to view. <laughs> like yeah. when they're when they're in the little like the. When they're doing the chase, yeah, and um, when they're in the special, the little mini ship, mini sub, yeah, and it, the the military is shooting at the shark. Mm-hmm. No idea what's happening that entire time. They get no. like the shark pushes past them, and then they're just floating in the abyss yeah. uh, quickly, as far as I can tell. Yeah, and then the shark just kills the ship. Yeah, and the the. <laughs> The the ship is firing from above water as yeah, well firing up. to get a shark. <laughs> yes. Just... <laughs> yeah, they the, like it's very clearly just stock footage of a boat that they've added some flashes onto. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I'm no expert, but I think if you're going to shoot a shark, you do that in the water. Well, you they think were expecting that, but... him to jump out. Yeah, is what they were doing. <laughs> previously it did attack an airplane. So. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So everyone's just like, right, everyone look out for the shark; it will jump out at any moment. <laughs> It, it, it should be aim in the water. No, I know what's in the water now, but that's what it will expect. That's what that's we're going to aim to up. It will jump at some point. We know it jumps, and then it just destroys the entire warship. Hmm. Yeah, in like one bite, and there's a lot of screaming, and then silence, and then it's like, oh no! And both Tar- times, target the destroyed. Are like, yeah, target destroyed, <laughs> and then or not. <laughs> Tar- and then uh, there's there's two instances. One where it goes target returned with that little dramatic pause <laughs> and the yeah. other one where um, the guy um, the uh, the guy goes it rises which is clearly just for the trailer it mm. was yeah <laughs> the delivery of, of that was incredible it's great. trailer stuff in yeah. this. there's a lot of scenes in the film where you're like oh there's the trailer like yeah. the yeah. plane shot is definitely for the trailer that oh and, yeah uh, like time. describing how, how, what are we going to do as the next solution oh thriller in Manila hang on what <laughs> the fuck yeah. oh yeah you yeah. know rumble yeah, in yeah. the jungle that kind of shit <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I like when uh, so after they g- immediately give up, when faced with any adversary, they immediately give up on their plan and go straight to. Well, we kill them. Yeah. Um, they are shown a map of the ocean and they're like they're nowhere to be seen, and the two marine biologists are like they're adapting. How the <laughs> fuck did they know? Hmm. <laughs> what, what do you mean they're adapting? Uh-huh. <laughs> they don't know what sonar equipment you. They don't know what that is. <laughs> like they just seem to they woke up like a week ago. As well. <laughs> uh, I, I just remembered as well the bit where where they're um, going through the ice trench to try and escape the shark, 
they then go full um, NOS from Fast and Furious, and they're like, quick, yeah. put the engines extra. on like super mode go or some shit. Fast. <laughs> just I, go faster. I just, I just want to. I just want. I can't. I. I. You, I just want to go back to their adapting. The argument is that they're going too deep underwater. They do that. They're big yeah. animals. They go deep <laughs> underwater. Yeah. They're not adapting to shit. That's just their normal behavior. <laughs> that's that's their whole thing. Yeah, is being deep in the water. And they're like, ah, oh, they know we have sonar. No, that they're giving those, <laughs> they're giving them way too much credit. It's what I'm saying. They're they're hiding. They're yeah. hiding from us. They're sneaky. No, they're not. That's just they're animals. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's, that's all I wanted to <laughs> get. <laughs> and that <laughs> really, like, just pierced that through the. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They're adapting. They're not fucking adapting to shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. But they use the they use the pheromone yeah. idea and they attract the shark and the the octopus, the octopus. together. Well, uh, they the octopus the shark. fucks up a bunch of submarines. And <laughs> I love this is the first time we properly see the octopus as it comes yeah. out of dark. Yeah. So they're running away from the shark and then allies turn, ally submarines turn up and they're like, "Oh, we're saved!" Mm. And then an angry, the angry, the grumpiest looking octopus turns up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's so he's mad. <laughs> he's so angry. He's fuming. And just like, and again, it's like, stop taking pictures of me with your sonar. <laughs> <laughs> again, this, I know what it is now. Yeah. The size of the octopus changes because it's <laughs> larger than a whole fleet of, of submarines. And then it's only just about big enough to go around the shark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which Maybe. is, Maybe smaller they... than the submarines. Maybe the octopus is annoyed because he's like, "I saw your drawing. I don't look like that." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it didn't catch my bad anger. Angle, yeah. <laughs> but it just kind of slaps all of the. Which, if they're too deep, if the sharks, are... if the octopus was too deep for the sonar to pick it up, surely an octopus right behind the shit, the right behind the submarines, <laughs> may get picked up on the sonar. Yeah. Cool. They're just idiots. They're, they're adapting. They are adapting. He knows. <laughs> he knows how to sneak up. He's using two of his tentacles to cover his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, they, yeah, they it... do that thing. Like, octopus can camouflage. He changes his colour and somehow that tricks the sonar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can't sm- see it. You can't them. pick it up on sonar. That's no, how that works. Exactly. Yeah. Them's the rules. He does, he does, yeah, he covers his eyes and goes, you can't see me, so I can't, yeah. I can't see you, so you can't see me. Uh, he just octo-flips the um, sonar back. Yeah. Or, like, away, right, yeah. so it doesn't bounce yeah. back. Oh, yeah. Well, he slaps all of the... It doesn't matter, like, he just hits them all out of the way with his many tentacles. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then fights the shark. They they yeah. fight for a while. They realise that they're at the place from the beginning it, of the movie for some reason as well. Again, the shark, the fight between those two animals, incomprehensible. You, CG. Yeah, you have no <laughs> idea what's going I, on. The octopus I don't maybe has a tentacle. I don't why the octopus bit. died. They both die. Just they, they just suddenly. It's like they both had I, a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. I I wanted I wanted. Well, to I think you'll find actually only one of them dies. <gasps> yeah, there's a sequel. I'm very surprised um, they didn't do the thing octopus actually doing fucking jam its <laughs> tentacles into the shark's gills to suck. Oh, I was there. I was rooting yeah. for the octopus and I was yeah. going to jab it, jab it in the gills. That's <laughs> what you're supposed to do. Octopus. I've I've seen one program about shark attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. The 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 when they're fighting, when the two animals are fighting and the people in the ship and um, there's a guy with like headphones on listening to it. Mm. And he's like, I can I can hear it, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and it must yeah. be the worst sound. Because yeah. it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it, and it's just awful. <laughs> we need to put that shark out of his misery right now. <laughs> Something terrible is happening out there. Something <laughs> awful is happening out there, and I don't know if we should stop. And they're like, then they ask the guy that can only hear what's going on, which one's winning? Yeah. Yeah. Know. <laughs> which one's yeah? Which one's winning? What What do you think this is? What, the, oh, no it's one, my my magic goggles. Well, no one's commentating on this. I'm not getting any kind of like blow by blow. The, all I'm getting is. Excuse me, Rumbu. Just what are your ears for? Yeah. Are they for listening? What are your eyes for? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the shark isn't just yelling out "gotcha" every yeah. time it lands a blow. Kapow! <laughs> One nil. <laughs> yeah. Two nil. Yeah. 
KO. They are, <laughs> they are Pokemon out calling out their Fight. attacks. <laughs> then the Japanese ships turn up. Yep. And for some reason, everyone in the Japanese ship, everyone in the Japanese ships are Japanese. For some reason, they are talking English. Yep. That's a fundamental problem I have with so many films. Mm. <laughs> there are no English people around. Why are we speaking English? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then they feel, he just sort of feels the the drive to go towards wherever, towards the ice caps. Yeah. There's no reason for him to want to do that, but he's like, I know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they save them. Uh, and then the shark is it the shark that kills the Japanese sub. The octopus kind of like grabs it and bends it up a bit. And I was like, oh no, they've died. No, they don't die. They're fine. They get out later. Now it, it's only the sh- the octopus is then small enough to only grab one. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> one oh, and memory. the others have gotten out onto the mini sub because the main sub has now exploded or something. It's nonsense. This it's, whole it's... scene is. In, it's just a mess. It's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's so good, though, because it's so... It's just a series of stupid decisions and bad dialogue. Yeah. And nonsense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's badly done. And it's badly yeah. done. There's so many continuity errors, and, like, I, I, I've I watched this so many times, and I remember there was a, a shot I laughed so hard at, which, which was when... You know, they're at the professor's house and someone just, like, leaves a DVD at the door and then runs away. Yes. And then they're <laughs> looking at it on the TV. In that shot, you can see the characters talking, but there's no dialogue happening. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see mouths moving and the reflection, like, very clearly, but they're not talking. It's just, like, it. it's full of moments like that where it's just, yeah. like, was this your only take? Was it like did 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 no one think like we'll just we'll 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 do one more for luck one for safety just in case that that just makes me think how bad were the other takes yeah <laughs> yeah nah, that was a one shot they were like no one will notice no. the reflection same, same they didn't they know did. it they noticed that on the premiere an editor probably <laughs> noticed it and went I yeah. there's nothing I can do about this same thing that they did with the CGI where they were like look we've got this one shot of the shark swimming towards a boat so if we just repeat <laughs> it four times it. it'll be fine and, and no one every now and then we'll put f- flashing lights around we'll, we'll, she, we'll put it this woman... oh yeah like when they do that with the uh, the octopus tentacle getting bitten off the next one that happens to is literally just the same it's shot the reversed same <laughs> shot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also I love her when she has a nightmare and works out how to get them to keep fight each other because mm. they're in this like eternal battle between giant yeah. octopus and megashark they'll fight to the death they don't care she... about their own survival she's having like flashing seizures in that dream where it's like flashing between all these images yeah and it's mm. crazy that she's like her images are from the point of view of the movie we're watching yeah <laughs> <laughs> but like what really confused me is that's clearly her dream Later on in the film, they do that flash in a different scene that's not a dream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's just having a stroke. <laughs> She's, that woman's having a seizure, I think. She maybe, actually got, yeah, maybe that, she got maybe a brain that, injury That's what in the, the rest of the movie is. Yeah. 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 She, yeah the you know, very brain injury beginning. The, in the, the very start yeah. and the rest is just... Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the pressure was off in the sub. Was yeah, she really got the bends bizarre. coming back up. And <laughs> yeah. that. Can we talk about the DVD that they show and they're like, that's an octopus. Could any? I just need to ask, anyone else see an octopus in that DVD? Not until the very last... Sh- when they show it the last time further into the movie, when they've clearly realised, hang on, this doesn't look like shit, we need to kind of focus <laughs> it in zoom a bit. Out. Yeah. Yeah, a bit yeah. of zoom and enhance. Yeah. 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 Like, n- until like... that point, no, it's just a weird blob. I like that they were looking at the video and they were all like, it's an octopus, couldn't see an octopus. And then they show it to the the military people and by mm. the way just kind of walks over plugs it in and types and comes up yeah. um and they're like Standard. wow an octopus where is it i wanted them to be like i don't i can't see that's <laughs> just a gray <laughs> is that an ultrasound what is <laughs> yeah put it up what? and be like oh congratulations I don't know. <laughs> oh nice uh... i found the his, his heartbeat and oh hang on here's what another is... one um... <laughs> What is this? Maybe it is an octopus. <laughs> what, octopus. Oh. I love how just unwatchable most of this film is. Yeah. That's and the not only in way like to a... describe it. Did anyone here then... watch it just solely sat there and watched it? Because I went I, I had this laptop in my um on my floor 
while I sorted out all my clothes and decided what I wanted to keep and what yeah. I wanted to get rid of. Oh, I sat down and watched. Like, I, I maybe went on my phone a couple of times, but oh, I okay. just, yeah. you know, made I a cup tried. of tea, got some biscuits, loaded up the movie, as I always do for this podcast. I always put more effort in than it deserves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I apologize. I actually, um, I watched it on... I assume you all watched it on YouTube, right? No one yep. paid money for it. No, what? yeah, it was, it was on free. Some, <laughs> it was on some <laughs> other website as well. Um, yeah, I, I watched it on that. Plex. So yeah. I watched that, it with good. adverts. No, Plex had adverts. <laughs> as soon as adverts come on, I was like, this film is not worth that. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to airplay it to my TV and it was just so out of sync and I was like, I can't deal with this. Oh, it's on YouTube. Perfect. Yeah. I was like, this, this, has, yeah. oh, this is not worth adding an extra 15 minutes on with adverts. No. <laughs> Not going to yeah. lie, so far with with our movies, it being on YouTube is never a good sign. <laughs> no. But no. it does help us not have to pay. <laughs> yeah, but... Sorry. Yeah. Well, that, that is key. There's nothing yeah, worse I, um, than a guest I watched being it. like, oh, I've got this movie. I paid to watch it, and it's shit. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I couldn't do that. No. But I... Um, I watched it on on youtube on my phone while i was working for the most part and then <laughs> i feel like I it benefits about... from that level of attention though because you you miss some of the worst goofs yeah well i, I like i for me this is just reminding myself of the worst goofs yeah. because i watched this so many times when i was a teenager but um i got about 40 minutes in and then i, I like i literally was like well that's enough of that for now uh, i need to take a break from this <laughs> and then messaged dan and said like i am sorry for <laughs> making you guys watch this movie and i watched the rest on my phone while my wife was watching something else uh on 1.5 speed just to just to get through, <laughs> just <to> power through. <laughs> just, this is yeah. nowhere near the worst film we've watched oh no. absolutely not oh, this no, was what have... this was watchable like yeah. it this was, was somewhat enjoyable. Incomprehensible, <laughs> but enjoyable. Yeah, it must have yeah. been even worse well, on the 1.5 times speed. Like, how can you tell what's going on? <laughs> on a <laughs> phone screen is what you picked the uh, hardest yeah. way to watch this film. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's. I don't think it's that important <laughs> no. uh, to know what's going on because if, if they're not going to put the thought into deciding what Making the movie it. is about or what should be going on in the scene, then I don't think I need to pay attention to what. <laughs> Yeah. To hire view it. No, yeah, you is, can mostly just assume if, it. if it's dark and blurry, it's probably supposed to be a shark and or an octopus. Yeah. 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 If so it's it, clear, it's stock footage. So when you said you watch, you like love this film as a teen, you love like bad media as a teenager. Did you have yeah. friends that also enjoyed? <laughs> I can't. Did you have friends? I really thought you were just going to cut it. Did, did know, you have I'm, friends? I'm, I'm glad that was a run-on sentence. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> He did, and yes, then he showed him this I did. movie. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah, I, I don't think I had. I had one friend who, um, she watched this with me a couple of times, and we both really liked it. Or but she was I very polite. <laughs> possible. That is possible. Yeah, but I had lots of other friends that I tried to show it to that didn't have the same kind of like appreciation reaction. Like they weren't like pissing themselves laughing at the bits that I was really enjoying. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's I, I the worst I, when you're watching someone watch a film and they don't they don't get it. Yeah, just like, yeah, especially, especially yeah. When, like I think this is a big old swing. If if yeah. someone if someone's not into this from the start, then it's a it's a it's a long hour and a half. You um, you also sound like a prick trying to explain it because they're like, is this good? again? I'm glad that was a run on sentence. <laughs> Oh, uh, but you do like whenever you watch a film like this with someone that doesn't get it. You you have to be like, no, it's like I'm watching it because it's bad and yeah. ironically, and you yeah. sound like a dick because you're like, well, I think I'm better oh. than this film. Yeah, you sound oh, like one absolutely. of those ukulele playing YouTube. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. I like honestly, it's it's actually um, it's interesting. This is actually something I talk a lot about on on my podcast when it comes to music. Like I used to be so judgmental of mm. so many things, and I think it's just a thing that you, like a lot of people do when they're when they're young, when they think they've got the world figured out, and they're not curious, and you know you, you just you think you know everything. So well, it's it's the it's also I think teenagers tend to be a bit extreme with their loyalty. Like oh, you're yeah, a fan yeah, of something, which means you have to be the an, biggest an, fan. the opposite of a fan for something else yeah. like you can't you can't enjoy like metal and emo yeah for yeah. sure for sure i i used to like make fun of a lot of stuff and like you know 
people on the internet or like movies or media that I thought was bad. Um, and obviously now I'm what thirty two. Uh, you know, I I don't I don't really look at things through the same lens anymore. I don't really think about things as like, oh, this is worthy of being mocked. I mean, obviously they like they made a fun movie. They probably had a good time doing it, and yeah. then it's brought enjoyment yeah. to people. So like, I don't view it the same way anymore. But it is nice to dip your toes into that mindset every now and again and just like just laugh about how god awful something is. I, I feel like I need that release. It's, it's a it's part yeah. of who I am. Also, for better or worse, probably they clearly didn't make it as long as it's not like the most sincere attempt. Well, that's it. Yeah. Laughing at it, like the yeah. people that made this film, it is very clearly were aware how stupid it is. Yeah. From like premise yeah. for maybe not all of them, <laughs> maybe not that guy that talked about the camera shaking, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, yeah. No one thought they were making Jaws. No, no one was going into this thinking I'm going to win an Oscar. Yeah, it's it's a yeah, dumb, sure. goofy movie. I think when people are like, they make a genuinely earnest film, and you yes. sit and take the piss out of it, you're like, I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The the room is similar, but it's it, like it's very earnestly made, but by someone who is by all me- like the most unusual purposes, person on the planet, not a nice person. And yeah, yeah you nice sort of okay so. to laugh at them at that point. You're yeah. like, well, they've yeah. Some we sometimes bit, yeah. people they they bring it on themselves. It's such a bizarre yeah. film that one. We will never talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. That's, uh, that's he's surprise. got it's... another film out by the way. Yeah, now, he, uh, it's called so Big Shark. <laughs> Yeah, it's called Big Shark. <laughs> oh, great! It's his oh, second yeah. movie. That big shark. <laughs> is it out? I heard, like, I heard he was making. Is it? Is it out? Oh, I, I think didn't know it's it starting to be released. Yeah, I think it's out in okay. some places in America. Okay, cool. He's a bizarre guy, Tommy. Yeah, what yeah. I see. Uh, he's what I think an immortal person would sound like. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Just that amalgamation yeah. of accents from yeah, all yeah, of time. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that's what. <laughs> I like what because he sounds so wizened. No, I think just. <laughs> Just like a cacophony of accents thrown together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, where, where are you from, mate? Oh, the, the, the Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Roman Empire through time. I've always... Yeah. I'm from every time period. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was I was trying to think of like, oh, what would be the next time period after the Roman Empire? All of history left my brain. <laughs> and I, I didn't want to say something just that gone. was before the Roman Empire. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Um, I mean, it, I guess like depends on what you count as. You know, you're talking t- ancient Rome, time. Roman Empire, oh, uh, mm. Rome two, Stop it. <laughs> Rome two, total war, um, <laughs> Rome two, also known as the Vatican. Uh, <laughs> this time with sharks. <laughs> oh please. So, uh, so, so, would you say uh, as well? Would you say that this held up to your memories of it, or like as best as it could? <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think again, it's like it's it's very similar to how I was talking about Anchorman. It's like there are moments of this that exist in my mind. It's just like the most perfect comedy moments. Um, so when I was watching it again. I don't think I enjoyed the experience of watching it again. Oh, okay. Um, but I definitely enjoyed the experience of remembering bits and like noting down my favorite scenes and talking about it. Yeah. Um. So I don't think it's one that I'll go back to probably ever at this point. To be honest, <laughs> hey, we've ruined was. another favorite film for someone. <laughs> no, I've watched. I've watched it. I've watched it enough times that like like I know all the bits. Like they're all yeah, all yeah. those moments are in my head. And I, I I will love them forever, um. But I don't think I need to watch the movie to have those moments again. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. M- m- maybe maybe years down the line when my uh, children are old enough, I'll uh, introduce them to to this world. Oh, <laughs> please do it desperately seriously, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do I'll do a, I'll do a series and just slide it in the middle and just be like here are, like the movies from this from this era yeah. that are just like the, yeah. the absolute pinnacle of cinema. Yeah, it's just like I do, yeah, some some Batmans and various yeah. other ones and then just Yeah. Mega yeah. Shark versus got, Giant you've got Octopus. Inter- Interstellar, you've got you've got your Spielbergs, you've yeah. got your you know 
Uh, you've got your Mega Shark versus <laughs> and then and then <laughs> your two <laughs> favorite War of the World movies. Yeah, yeah I yeah. can think of nothing <laughs> better to follow up ET than Mega Shark <laughs> we, versus. We Giant. should just sit them down to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy and watch uh, the first one, the Twin Towers, and then slide in Mega Shark versus <laughs> Giant Octopus, and then show them Return of the King. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Just, yeah, and they just pretend like you didn't show the mega shark. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how, that film sounds ridiculous. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the last time I let you fall asleep watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's like your children into watching mega shark. I think that's that, that's yeah. if, if 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 people can take away anything from this from this episode, that's the thing I want them to take away. Gas from this. Like, Gas your like your children, children into, <laughs> into watching <laughs> films. Is yeah, to watching your yeah, two beautiful babies, films. giant yeah. octopus and mega shark. <laughs> yeah. you just just you know, slip this in between a couple of episodes of Bluey. You're all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so out out of ten, out of ten, out of oh, ten, God. the hard one. Uh, well, planes being I'm, eaten by sharks. <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> do do you rank on how much you've enjoyed the experience? Whatever, or you, however, the movie is. If you want to have a combination of the two, like if you want consistency you in ratings, this is not the podcast. <laughs> you, you know how okay, like sure. some things are connected with each other across the world, and some some things like the mega shark and the giant octopus are connected throughout time. Yeah, and sure. This is your connection with the number you feel appropriate to this film. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll 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 pick a number in terms of how much I've enjoyed the movie, and pick a number in terms of how good I think the movie actually yeah, is. That's and then those fair. two numbers will like will kill each other. Yeah. In, <laughs> See who wins. One of in, them in is the in Arctic. Japan. One of them is in yeah. America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um yeah let's let's meet in the middle. Let's let's call it a. A six. I think, like I, it's it's obviously it's a bad movie, right? It's 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 <laughs> that, absolutely. We need to do a smash good. cut of every person saying that on this podcast. <laughs> it's not for every it is, film we've seen, <laughs> it's it, like, it, look, it's I'm gonna rate it <laughs> six out of ten, but it's obviously bad. <laughs> it deserves yeah, it is, worse. It's garbage, but um, but yeah, like I. But I, it's your garbage. It. Yeah. It's my garbage. Yeah, I will. I will always love it. I will always like. I will always laugh when I think of um, Lamar saying uh, "fish and chip." Um, <laughs> you can't I quote will that about people about either because the... they won't get yeah. it. Yeah, I'm drawn I'm, to the like, water. Yeah. It's such a niche <laughs> quote. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very niche quote from a movie that I would never, I would not wish on my worst yeah. enemy. It's not even the most quotable um, thing in it either. <laughs> like, no. It's such a no. <laughs> it's, it's just the one that stands out to me. Mm-hmm. But um, so yeah, I, it's it's a bad movie, but I will love it forever. Yeah, that's fair enough. I was going to go for a very notable quote as well, and that's why I'm giving this two days until I get married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel... I can't give it a one because I enjoyed it, but it's not a good yeah. movie. <laughs> like, the, the plain fair. scene alone deserves a star. If we're voting scene by scene, there are some scenes that are a ten. Yeah, oh, and yeah. the plane scene is one of them. <laughs> the plane scenes yeah. are ten, and then some scenes are like off the scale in the minuses. Yeah, like yeah. any action sequence. Yes, <laughs> just unwatchable. I, 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 what I'm coming to realize is that the higher number of stars is the higher the shark is in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. Sea level is zero, so yeah. <laughs> you've got thirty-three thousand okay. stars, and then you've got minus however many. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'd I'd struggle to give this. I want to give it, a, I think, four science moments. <laughs> four science montages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, four just pouring two liquids into from two test tubes into one bigger test tube. Yeah. Yeah, and going, oh, <laughs> didn't work, <laughs> and then just shoving your face in a microscope. <laughs> and uh, oh, oh, that awful line about them being, oh, you've if you've been frozen for eighteen, eight, um, eighteen million <laughs> years, you'd be horny too. Would you be a little horny? <laughs> yeah, you? yes, yeah. I'd yeah. Captain that was America. Really out of place. <laughs> that whole scene was really out of place. Uh, I think, I think I quite enjoyed this. Like as like a dumb film. I think like. Not as much as you. I think five and a half. <laughs> five to five and a half. I'll take it. 
uh, th- five and a half things that woman may have seen in the ocean at the beginning. Um, <laughs> five and a half giant monsters she may or may not have seen that didn't come up later in the film. I, yeah, I just enjoy, I think I enjoy bad movies. Uh, clearly, I do this podcast. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think, I think, yeah, you, we've got yeah. maybe oh, bordering on 200 hours worth yeah. of content of, of evidence that you movies. enjoy bad movies. <laughs> I, I feel bad for her though with that where she's like if if you suddenly discover that there's a giant octopus and a giant shark and then the person next to you went oh my god I've seen them before you'd be like fuck off have you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're being such a pick me right now. <laughs> yeah. I ju- yeah. I enjoy that most of the people in this film genuinely think it's hilarious. Like yeah. nobody in this film very mm. few people in this film are taking it seriously. Uh, fish and chip, brilliant line. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just nonsense. It's just nonsense, and it's weirdly enough, it's let down by the. I didn't think I'd ever think anything would let this film down. I didn't think anything yeah. would be good enough for in this one for it to be <laughs> let down. Do the action yeah. sequences really let it down? Mm. Yeah. They didn't in, need the shark, in, in the movie called Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus, you want to see them fight. Yeah. Not a, a three seconds of a random close up. Yeah, yeah, but it's enjoyable. Like, if yeah. you have to watch this, you cannot watch this film alone. This film is awful to watch alone, and you have to watch it with the right people. Yeah, I feel yeah. like if I'd have sat, like if we'd have all sat down to watch this together, that it is have been easily a like a five film. or six star time. But yeah, just go, yeah. just going off the yeah. movie, I yeah, I, I can't give it much higher than a two. I'm no, afraid. that that's that's the yeah. that's the experience. The, yeah. like watching it with with people Who? pausing. Uh, yeah. particular moments to be like what what are you talking about <laughs> and people just who, making just like happened. themed snacks for this yeah. as well <laughs> like, people who oh, yeah. also get it people who also yeah. like get it and enjoy yeah. it because watching this with someone that doesn't get it may be the worst experience yeah. for both of you or watching yeah, it with yeah. two children who think it's the most the best film that you've ever seen yeah and two children to... who are expecting it to connect to the, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. second Lord of the Rings <laughs> movies <laughs> Two, watching it with two very confused children <laughs> might be the best way to watch this one. Two confused children asking, like, is, 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 Frodo, Frodo? is Frodo in this one? Yeah, yeah. I don't, he'll turn up. There's a lot more technology No, this, this one's one set in the does. future and then the, the last one's a flashback. It, yeah. <laughs> and then, it, it will, it'll, it'll connect, it'll connect, yeah. don't worry. And then, just, and then he, just run with it. he goes to throw the ring into the into the stuff and the shark just comes out. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what bites his finger off. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, I was thinking actually, Dan, when you said themed snacks, I'm thinking like little airplanes you can hang on the ceiling. Yeah. So you have to jump up and eat them. <laughs> I think that'd be good. Oh my I god, think... your children are going to choke. <laughs> <laughs> thing is about showing it to your children is after they watch the third film, when they go, "What about the mega shark and and giant octopus film?" Yeah. You go, "What do you mean? It's a trilogy. There's no fourth <laughs> film." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like, you know, yeah. as discussed earlier, what you need to do is actually show them Adventures of Hobbits, or whatever the <laughs> fuck it was called. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, show them uh, all of the Lord of the Rings series and then show them the Asylum version. No, tell and them say... they're watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> no, don't tell them it's not part of the series. <laughs> like, they were going to sit down to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but only play the Asylum ones, and then when yeah. they talk just, to their just friends, mix them up. it just fucks just mix them up. <laughs> Yeah. Watch Lord of the Rings two, then one of the Asylum films, then the the Hobbit <laughs> yeah. movie, uh, then Lord of the Rings. 1. Oh, it's called Clash of the Empires. Yeah, <laughs> also known as Lord of the Elves. <laughs> yeah, originally called like the Adventures of Hobbit, Ruler of Brilliant. the Jewelry. <laughs> um, in that series, throw in a Star Wars. Just yeah. <laughs> drop in a Star oh, yeah. Wars. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Why not? Throw in giant shark, uh, giant uh, mega shark, and giant octopus. Um, mm-hmm. Just have fun with it and tell them they're all connected. Yeah. <laughs> it's all set in the same universe. Yeah, it's Hobbits the... versus Java men. <laughs> what are they going to a Java fucking coffee men? shop? <laughs> Java men? Yeah. That, that sound, that's my, my racist uh, senses are tingling here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are Java men? They're, they're the, the brutal oppressors of the Hobbits. Ooh, okay. Are they not them little dudes from Star Wars with the eyes? Hmm. Oh, the young hobbit's called Gobbin. <laughs> Gobbin? Yes. Great. 
Oh man, uh, who needs Tolkien when we've got Gobbin <laughs> and the Java Men? I've always said that. Yeah, I've always said that. Yeah. Oh, this this film was a good time. Thank you for for yeah. letting us talk about it. Oh, you're yeah. very welcome. It's yeah. uh, it's good to have an outlet to talk about. You need so, it for this. This film. absolute nonsense. Yeah. Hmm? And thank you for not picking Anchorman. It's all. Really <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's it's less fun, I think. I'd have gone mad. I I'd have did. gone insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I guess with that beautiful movie out of the way, I've been Dan. I have been Michael. And I've been Helena. And I love this you, bit. You can say yeah. that. And I've, been, yeah. and I've been Shane. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We're really good at telling people what to do at the start. Yeah. And then just we like, always, yeah. always explain the introduction. I, I love Never it. Never explain leave, the end. The way you leave me to the end is like, I have to do like the, the catchphrase or something. Well. I have to do the <laughs> and I'm Shane and I oh, love and that Shane, movie. And I love that. And hey, I love that movie. <laughs> no, I love it because... Every single guest we have on has that pause. Every single one. Great. There's, you can feel the immense sudden and pressure. And it's, you've never learned. Never. We don't remember. I like like, it. Never learned. Your never pause is when we all remember that we didn't I'm... tell you what to do at the end. Yeah. I revel uh, at it. It's great. <laughs> well, Shane, where can people find you? I thought the podcast was over. Um, where can they find me? Uh, my online presence is limited, so uh, find Mixtape and Identity is my thing my podcast i'm on socials at mixtape and identity i am on twitter but i don't use it so i wouldn't bother um but yeah just just follow the podcast mixtape and identity yeah that's it nice uh well you can find this podcast on social media at hilton pod that's at h-i-l-t-m pod uh, we're on discord as well if you want to come and tell us your thoughts on mega shark versus giant octopus and where it fits in the mcu and <laughs> also we have a and the lord of the rings extended universe <laughs> yeah also it's known awesome. as the MCU. It, well, they all fit into the grand thing, which is the Fast and Furious universe, because every yeah. movie is counted. Every movie is in the Fast, part and, of the Furious, Fast and Furious universe. Yeah, there's a bit where they drive a car off a shark, and it wouldn't yeah. surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a Patreon as well, if you want to support the show. Um, what special thing are we doing for the Patreon this week? We are going to go down, and we are going to go and find either a mega shark or a giant octopus in the ocean. Now, hopefully both, because we'll get them to yeah. fight. <laughs> but getting there is quite difficult. I'm sure there's one down there. I'm sure there's one just waiting for us to find. Deep yeah. down in the ocean. I f- <laughs> I almost thought I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting into your budget submarine. <laughs> I almost told that joke. I almost... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I found this great company. Really cheap. 